What up, YouTube? Dave Matic One, and I just wanted to show you something I was messing around with over the weekend here. Uh, you guys remember I just did a review on this Navy K631, which is a kind of a copy, a copy of the a mixture between. It's the exact same size as your Bird Car Cara. Only difference is 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 uh, the this has a spidey hole instead of the bird hole there. And the car car does not have the added jimping over here, but besides that, same size, same everything. So basically, it's a navy knife, and actually, the fit and finish was pretty decent on this knife. Not a bad knife. It's priced either exactly as actually, it's priced more. It's more expensive, if not right dead on. Well, actually, no, it's about the same price as a car car with the G10 on it. So it's kind of like, well, you might as well just get the car car instead of a copy of that uh, the only thing that may want that would make someone lean the other way is the fact that it's a spidey hole instead of the bird hole that they got there but anyway uh, getting back to what I was going to let you guys know about as you can see here I did an acid wash finish on this blade here I also went ahead and did the clip also with that one of the things that I was thinking about is I wanted to add a backspacer to this but unfortunately the only G10 I have sitting at my shop is a quarter inch thick and this would need to be 3 16 so just sitting around scratching my head thinking uh, what I went ahead and did is while I had the knife apart I went ahead and kind of tapered down this G10 all the way to where it starts to roll so it was actually flat so I pretty much sanded away the G10 to where it was a, a, a straight angle kind of a sharp edge and that exposed a small that uh, what, ha what ended up doing what I ended up doing is it exposed the liner and the backspacer for this knife which then I went ahead and added jimping to as you can see here now these liners were not acid dipped so you can see there's you got your G10 you got that stainless satin finish on the liner you've got the acid wash or whatever so there's a, it's a pretty good uh, contrast of colors between the black G10 uh, the satin liners the acid wash and then satin liner and G10 so it looked pretty cool actually looked even better uh, when I went ahead and added this jimping now this jimping isn't uh, as far from perfect uh, I have to work up work out on that um, I used a Dremel with a cutting wheel to go ahead and do that I made some marks that were exactly about a quarter of an inch away from each other and marked that down and then went ahead with the Dremel and kind of cut the notches so they're not a hundred percent there uh, they look a little bit off, but if you look at the side profile, it actually looks pretty damn good. Now, as far as how it feels, uh, basically, it's just to add better grip right here in a reverse grip. See there, you can see a really good, um, a really, you can see really good there, and it's mild. What I did is on, on my, I have a mini grinding, a mini, uh, excuse me, miniature grinder, and I have a scotch Bright wheel on that, and that's kind of how I went over to kind of tone down this sharp edge here because that's what you're going to have when you do something like this. The liners are going to have that sharp edge. So I did that and I was able to be very careful to do that without taking away any of the uh, acid wash on the actual backspacer. So pretty cool. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to probably re-dip this blade because there's, um, there's some uh, mild marking that goes diagonal here and there's a little scratch on this side. There's a little bit there and it's I only left it in for about 15 minutes not long at all so it took this is 440c so um, 440c took the acid wash pretty good and pretty quick I did have to resharpen this edge because it took the edge straight off uh, which I kinda knew it was gonna happen because 440c doesn't really its edge retention isn't all that great it's not bad but it's not all that great uh, but you know it sharpens back up like in a heartbeat so it's not much work to get it back to sharpening again so sharpness again so anyway that's what I did here uh, and basically what I'm gonna do is probably take this all back apart re-dip uh, re-dip the blade and re-dip this backspacer and what, when I re-dip this backspacer before I do that I will go, go back over and try to clean up my jimping right here to kinda make it more uniform and clean up the liners a little bit to make that more uniform and then doing the acid treatment there will kind of take away all the bright shininess from when the grinder is and it'll make it more uniform and it'll add to the, even though I do think the fact that when you look at it like there in the contrasting colors there it's kind of 
The little blocks do look good. I think it'll look better with the acid, uh, the acid treatment all the way through in the uh, the grind marks here. But it'll give me an opportunity to clean this back up and make it a little better. Now, all in all, not a bad. Um, now I'm I'm pretty pleased with the results of this. Uh, like I said, it's not 100% perfect or clean, but it was really cool to go ahead and do something uh, like that and actually turn out halfway decent. This knife is not something that I bought to treasure and hold. It was going to be, you know, one of my main collector pieces in my... It was just simply to buy to review to kind of see what's going on. So I was willing to take that chance to do some mods to it or whatever. Uh, as far as the edge goes on that, and uh, let me see... What I ended up having to do is after after I went ahead and had the uh, the acid treatment or the acid wash to it, I went back over with 1,200 grit sandpaper and then stropped it. And as you can see, it's a uh, pretty sharp. So. That's what you're going to have to do there. That's another thing too, guys. If you're going to do the acid wash on there, uh, if you've got 440C or something like OS8 or something like that, just keep it on. I'd pull it out every... I'd, 15 minutes is fine for whatever you're going to use, for whatever steel you're using in there. But I would definitely pull it out in increments of every 15 minutes to see the acid effect there. Uh, just make sure. Another thing also, another thing I want to tell you guys too, is when you... Uh, something that I learned is I use fingernail polish to kind of protect all the points like the inside of the pivot where the lock back met the blade and all that good stuff where anywhere where the tolerances had to be the same they had to be maintained and you really didn't want to mess it up by doing the acid wash so I used nail polish and basically only dipping it in 15 minutes I think you can get away with just doing a sharpie that way clean up afterwards isn't a pain in the butt because I had to soak it for a long time to get that nail polish off and the sharpie would have come off like nothing and it didn't even it didn't do a darn thing to the nail polish as far as eating it away so uh that's just pretty much it just giving you guys kind of a update on what i was up to there uh you know as far as the actual acid wash goes i was going to skeletonize the liners and do a bunch of other stuff like that but i uh, decided against that i don't have the right drill bits right now to do that which kind of sucks because I actually ended up getting a new tool in my shop. I'm going to show that to you guys right now. Um, I now have a drill press, as you can see there. In addition to my, of course, my 1x30 there with my stropping belt in it and my, my sanding 1x30 there, which I just do all my, you know, sanding of metal and my strops and all that stuff. That's my mini grinder there with a the Dremel attachment to that. So I'm pretty set up now. All I've got left to get really is um, get myself either a porta band with a stand rig on it or a bandsaw so I can start cutting metal uh, or G10 scales and all that cool stuff. So anyway, guys, um, appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you have any questions on the acid wash, I did a tutorial kind of on it on the Gil Hibben. Uh, Gil Hibben acid wash. There's like eight stages of it or something. Just check that out. If not, uh, just PM me and I'll see if I can't answer that question for you there. So anyway, guys, thanks. Peace.